What's up, people? All right, so what we have here is Cinnamon 2.0, of course, from the creators of Linux Mint. Linux Mint 16 Petra scheduled to be released at the end of this month. You may want to check it out at the website. This is just the desktop environment here, not the whole operating system for Linux Mint. I installed this uh, alongside on the uh, Ubuntu 13.10, which was just released about a month ago. Uh, I had Ubuntu 12.04 installed, and uh, apparently this appears to be stable in Ubuntu 13.10. So if you want to try it out and you have installed or thinking about installing Ubuntu 13.10, and would like to have a different look to your desktop, check this out. All right, let's take a look at the default desktop here. I have installed uh, different the pieces of software, some different screencasting software. Hopefully, uh, the screencasting software I'm using now will work because Linux screencasting software in general, I hate to say it, guys, it just plain sucks. All right, let's take a look here and see what we have. I made a change to the panel bar, which is normally at the bottom. I prefer it at the top, going from right to left. All right, we have no windows open, the time and date, the sound menu settings and sound menu integration with different players. I did install Amarok and VLC. VLC should be your standard media player for both Windows and, and Linux. Volume, microphone settings. Let's go to sound settings. And if you have used Linux Mint and or Ubuntu in the past, you are probably familiar with this and of course different settings here microphone there i'm not too crazy about the black borders here it makes it somewhat hard to see here at the bottom it says uh, output volume i mean i already knew that but that doesn't quite appear to be appear to be user friendly alrighty let's see wired internet of course the user accounts here this is the screencasting software that I downloaded from the Cinnamon uh, website. Hopefully it'll work and not crash. Notifications. The one thing I do like about this, the ability to right click and add applets. So add applets to the panel. This is what I miss in Ubuntu Unity. These are the ones that are installed. You can, you can certainly get more online. Let's go to installed. And let's try, oh, I don't know. Let's try trash. Add to panel. And it is, yeah, it is right here. Trash. Let's empty all those test recordings that had trouble with. Will somebody please create an acceptable Linux screencaster for all seasons, or in this case, for all distros? All right, you can do some other things here, such as troubleshoot, panel edit mode, panel settings. Again, if you are coming from a Windows environment, you should be able to figure this out. Should not be too difficult. The easiest thing here was to, you know, go to the, the top or the bottom. One thing I don't like, if you make changes, it says here, if you make changes to the layout, you will need to, you will need to restart Cinnamon. I don't like that. I just want to click and go. And for the most most part, Cinnamon fits the bill. But just little things like this that are somewhat annoying. But that's just me. All right, these are some shortcuts here. Some, uh, of course, Chromium, web browser, the uh, file manager here. This, I'm sure you've seen this before if you have run Ubuntu-based Linux distributions. And you can certainly, you know, change how this looks. So if you, if you are coming from Windows, should be no problem. You have a search function here and home folder, desktop. I'm sure you, you get the picture here on how this would look. All right, let me go ahead and escape out of this. Uh, let's go to the Firefox web browser. Take just a real, real quick look at the Cinnamon uh, website. I was taking a look at that and this is where you can get more information. Here it says Cinnamon, love your Linux, feel at home, get things done. I suppose, as opposed to hate your Linux, <laughs> don't feel at home and don't get things done, right? Oh, never mind. All right, more information here. Let's go to the start button, as we Windows users call it. 
you have your favorites here to the left. Let's look at the system monitor. Let's see how much RAM is using. This is using not bad with the recording 421 megabytes of RAM. This is less than Ubuntu Unity. And of course you have the hot corner here which is standard by default. Two workspaces you can add more by this plus function here. Hit the X, escape out of that, go back. All right, back to menu. Favorites here, as I stated, a search bar here, which is very nice. So if I type in music, it'll give you everything here related to music. Uh, there's a lot of software that should get you up and running. I, like I said, I installed different pieces of software when I first installed Ubuntu 13.10. So you may want to take a look at this inside the actual software center to see what you enjoy and stuff like here for example if you right click if you pick on a piece of software you can add to panel desktop or favorites and you can scroll up and down as you see here for all applications well let's right click on the desktop um, one thing that's fairly new here I believe is add uh, desk lets here let's go to these are the installed desklets here uh, let's see let's go to AccuWeather and let's add that to the desktop and here we go I was messing with this one before this is where I used to live Winter Park Florida and I don't think I want Celsius can we change that uh, this black background why they put why why this black background it's so difficult to read I'm sure this can be changed but I'm not in the mood to figure it out now we'll go to Fahrenheit and it just changed Ooh, it's chilly there in Florida for this timing well I guess maybe not anyway right click you can configure or remove desolate um, let's see uh, how about I haven't done this yet let's go change desktop background and we have <laughs> your invisible wallpaper uh, let's click add uh, let's see pictures I think I have this from my Ubuntu desktop Ubuntu pics um, celestial stream let's try that one that one should get your attention how about that and uh, yes this should be the standard wallpaper for Linux Mint don't you think so let's change the borders here and see how they look man again you have to go here to the black bar click that go there and let's change this select alright that's better okay cinnamon 2.0 from Linux Mint let me know what you guys think this does appear to be to be quite user-friendly didn't notice any glitches or hiccups hopefully this uh, installed screencasting software will hold up once I escape out of this let me know what let me know what you guys think I could probably say at this point recommend it for beginners if you are coming from a Windows PC it's certainly certainly very easy to use again just click and go for the most part the only things I didn't like were were the black border backgrounds such as you see here this probably can be changed with uh, changing a theme or fonts or something like that I'll have to take a look at that other than that uh, good job from Lake Smith this does appear to be as stable and as bug free as possible well that's it thank you for watching and listening as always I will catch all of you sometime in the future